excited about and this is uh, about the brilliance of books and I have two very special guests to introduce you to so hello to Hannah and Katie who we are really really pleased to have with us and they are going to talk through with us and do a really informative webinar all about the brilliance of books and how Twinkle can help you uh, with your home ed journey using all of the amazing originals that we have so yeah I'm going to hand over to Hannah um, and Katie, so welcome. And um, I'm going to uh, wave goodbye and listen in the background as well, because I'm sure it's going to be really, really informative. So thank you. Thank you, Chrissy. Lovely to be here. Welcome everybody to this webinar on the brilliance of books. We are Twinkle Originals. My name is Hannah, obviously, and I'm here with Katie Sinnott. Together Hello. we are the product owners of Twinkle Originals and also Twinkle Book Club. We're both ex-primary school teachers uh, and we've been making Twinkle Originals children's books since 2017. We're really glad that you could join us. If you have any questions during this webinar, use the chat box, drop us some comments and somebody will be there to help you out. We're, we're very happy to answer any questions you may have. So let's get started. So we'll quickly go over the aims of the webinar. Um, some of you will have used Twinkle Originals before, but for those of you who haven't, we're going to gain a greater understanding of what Twinkle Originals is, understand the Originals collection and how to access it. Then we'll explore how Twinkle Originals can help you to explore topics, create projects and reading experiences. By the end of the session, we hope that you will know several ways to find Twinkle Originals books. We hope that you'll understand several ways to integrate books into your everyday learning using our supporting materials. And we hope that you'll have a chance and take that chance to give your opinion on Twinkle's book offering. We want to find out what you need from Twinkle. Okay, so part one then, let's talk about how to find Twinkle Originals books. There are many ways to find the Twinkle Originals books. So hopefully you'll find the one that suits you best. We're not here to tell you that you need to understand all of them, but pick one that suits you. Whether you're looking for books that children can read independently or something to read together or a topic book to support your next project, I'm going to show you a few ways to find what you're looking for. So naturally, you can always search Google for Twinkle Originals. Let me have a go. And it's the first thing that comes up. Perfect. But what if you're already within the Twinkle website? It's easy pop the word originals into the Twinkle search bar and you head straight to the Twinkle Originals homepage. Okay, this is the Twinkle Originals library, which you can also get to by typing in twinkle.com forward slash originals. So as I say, find the one that works for you. My preference is twinkle.com forward slash originals because I find it easiest to remember. So that's the Twinkle search bar and twinkle.com forward slash originals. It's also worth telling you that originals is responsible for the Twinkle poetry collection. So let me show you that. Twinkle.com forward slash poetry. If you want to browse our collection of topical poems with different styles and structures, that's all you need to do. There's loads to look at. It's really helpful for uh, not just children, but adults as well to understand different forms of poetry. So those are our four favourite ways. The Originals Library is growing massively. It's like I said, it's been here since 2017. And since then, we've expanded in lots of different directions to, like I said, poetry, nonfiction, books for babies and novels for older children as well. So the Nought to Sevens Loosely collection covers first word board books like Let's Explore the Jungle growing up stories for parents and children like Asher's Bedtime, simple picture books, 
uh, non-fiction books, books with rhyming, repetition, and stories with more character development, like on the far right, Knights and Dragons Unite. Books for 7 to 11, loosely again, covers our first chapter books for developing readers, and you can see Super Socks in the bottom left, longer chapter books for more confident readers, and picture books as well for, for older children, which explore challenging themes and uh, calendar events. You can see a place for plastic on the topic of pollution. So there's many, many ways, not just to find originals, but to read originals, listen, watch. Okay, and we're not here to overwhelm you with formats. As I said before, we hope that you'll come away with one or two versions of our books which suit you and suit your learners. All children have their preferred learning style, so our aim is to give you options and you can find what's best for you. So digital ebooks is probably our main, our original originals offering. And when you download a Twinkle Originals ebook from the website, there are options. So let me have a look at one. This is the perfect ribbit, which is a, a fairly new story about the frog life cycle. And when you click download now, you'll be given a flip book or an HTML version of the book. So this book can be downloaded and saved to your computer and then it will open in a browser like this. The pages will turn with a lovely animation and make a little page turning sound. I don't know if you can hear it, but I certainly can. There's a little bit of interactive uh, element to the eBooks. And these books, it's worth, it's worth saying, are available as any part, as part of any level of Twinkle subscription. OK, so as long as you are a, a paid core member or, or above, you'll be able to access these Twinkle Originals eBooks. The next format is a, a PDF format, which some people would prefer. So when you're on the eBook page, under More Downloads, you'll always find a PDF version. So if you prefer, you can open the PDF in your browser or in Adobe or however you like and scroll through the pages. This is also useful if you want to print the book, which a lot of our members do. If you need another page size or any amendments making to the PDF, you can contact our CARES team and often we'll be able to help you with some, something that suits you. You'll also find that under the more downloads, many of our books have a dyslexia friendly version. This is mainly for our novels, but you'll find that lots of them are done um, as a separate version in a dyslexia friendly font with a slightly different colour background, um, which lots of our users find really helpful. Okay, and next I'm going to show you the Twinkle Originals app, which uh, hopefully some of you have discovered already. So the Twinkle Originals app is available on Apple and Android, uh, and I'm going to show you a little video, a video within a video about what the app looks like. So on the Twinkle Originals app, you can find any book that you can find in our ebook library. You can create a profile or whether your children can. You can create up to 50 profiles. So unless you've got more than 50 children at home, you know, you're going to have no problem. They can personalize their reading background, their profile, play games and quizzes, collect medals. There's word searches there. They can also listen to audiobooks of most of their favorite stories as well. There you go. So that's a, a very whistle stop tour, but I do recommend that you go on to the App Store and download the, the app and just have a look around. There's also a guest mode if you're not a paying user and you're very welcome to go and play around on the app uh, before sort of committing. OK, let me get past that one. OK, um, hopefully lots of you have already heard of Twinkle Book Club. So let's say, you know, you've explored the ebooks, you've explored the app, but you really want something that you can hold in your hand. So Twinkle Book Club is a book subscription service that delivers beautifully printed copies of Twinkle Originals books straight to your door. This is every half term. So we're using the rec generally recognized school half terms. So that equates to six books a year. And you, you'll receive an original work of fiction that's yours to keep. You can choose from picture books for loosely ages three to seven or novels for loosely ages seven to 11. This aspect of Twinkle Originals is available with a UK ultimate subscription. So if you already hold an ultimate subscription and you are in the UK, you are eligible for this service now. So I highly recommend heading to twinkle.co.uk forward slash book club and just pop in a delivery address and, and we'll get you started. If you've not yet signed up for an ultimate membership, subscribe and you'll get 
unlimited access to not just this, but Twinkle Go interactive games and loads of other Twinkle products. Once you've signed up, you'll get an email which will say, here's how to sign up to Book Club. So we, we would love to see you all receiving our books every half term. OK, um, we've got a few quotes here for uh, for Book Club because there are lots of um, home educators who are using Book Club and, and enjoying it. So this is um, a blog from O Family Learning, which says that anyone can write a story, but the question is being able to write a good, engaging story, one which the kids enjoy reading, but one which I can also use as a springboard for learning. Now, that is not easy, but these Twinkle Original stories are just that, which we're very grateful for. And another one here from Mary in Sheffield, who says that Johnny's favourite book has to be A Tale of Two Feathers. The first thing he told me yesterday when he woke up was, you're Candice Corncrake, I'm Kia Kingfisher. The Twinkle Original stories have done wonders for his vocabulary. At the end of a busy day, mixing up story time by listening to a Twinkle Originals audio story and following along with the book is a real treat. The voice acting and music is excellent. All of the Twinkle Originals are fantastic with beautiful illustrations and engaging stories. I particularly like the diversity and representation throughout. Highly recommended. We love hearing things like this. And on all of our uh, eBooks, there are there's an option to, to leave a review. We're also on Goodreads. So any feedback you have for us like this, we absolutely love to hear. OK, and the last uh, couple of ones here, not just uh, signing up to Book Club, let's say you've, um, you're have you not a member of Book Club or you are, but you've missed your favourite originals book when it came out, or you've got two children and one, one book came through Book Club and you want the other one. This is how you get hold of a spare copy or an extra copy of a book. If you head to shop.twinkle.co.uk, Loads of Twinkle Originals books that have already been printed are available to buy and they get delivered to you just like shopping anywhere else online. To, to check whether your favourite book is in the shop, if you head to the website, right underneath that download button, you'll see buy printed book. So that's a really nice uh, sort of signifier that it's available for you. And that, that button will take you straight to the shop as well. OK, my last format for Originals books then is our audio books, which are very, very popular. Listen and follow is what we call these. We mentioned that you can listen to audio books on the app and you can, but you can also access these on the Twinkle website uh, available with any level of subscription. So you can find a listen and follow resource within the supporting resources for any book. So let's say you go through the Originals page, you find the Runaway Iceberg. Underneath there, you'll find the listen and follow version. OK, and these sort of um, play a little twinkle when you when they want you to turn the page. So you'll need a copy of the book open as well. If you have printed copies of the books, you can play the listen and follow track by scanning a QR code inside the front cover. And then it'll tell you turn the page when you hear this sound. OK, so those are all the ways you can access them. I hope you found something that you'll be able to use uh, going forward. So in part two, we're going to have a look at some of the ways that books can enhance children's learning. And I'm, the main question I'm asking myself are, what are the benefits of storytelling? Well, storytelling ignites the imagination, as I'm sure we all are aware of and agree on. This in turn creates innovative and resourceful individuals. This is an originals book called The Boy in the Rainbow, in which a boy and a magical creature visit each of the colours of the rainbow through a magical door. Behind each door is a world where everything is red or orange or yellow. It's the perfect opportunity to get children imagining a world in which everything's their favourite colour. You could find things around the house or your local area which might help to fill a world where everything's green, for example. Then you could use a supporting worksheet like the one at the bottom here to practice descriptive language, such as um, using the storybook as, as an example. See all the words in the word bank here for children to use. This book, incidentally, is also available in print if you like the look of it. Storytelling also fosters listening skills and comprehension skills, which are transferable to all parts of life, you know, as they grow. We're in the process of developing a line of books for uh, ages two to four, which focus on rhyme, repetition, rhythm and participation. And these books come with a list of discussion questions so that you can encourage your child to listen carefully as you read. Even before children can read books independently, building listening skills enhances children's ability to understand, question and communicate with others later in life. 
Similarly, our longer stories for ages seven and up are supported by guided reading questions, which focus on key reading skills, such as retrieving information, making inferences, predicting. Comprehension activities can make these more formal if you want them written down or if you're looking for independent reading activities. This is another printed book called Jazz Harper Space Explorer, which is a sci-fi. Storytelling connects people and communities. It creates compassion and understanding. And I think uh, one of our reviewers that we just spoke about mentioned the diversity in our books. Many of our picture books focus on cultural celebrations, events, also sensitive topics. And some of our novels also delve into mental health, personal well-being and equality topics. Not just for younger readers, but all ages of children can benefit from using books to widen their understanding of people, places and situations that are outside of their own. We pride ourselves on representing real people who children might meet in later life and preparing them to be open minded and respectful people. Stories can help children to understand their place in the world. For children, stories help them understand who they are, where they come from and the world that they live in. They can also help us to approach delicate topics in a gentle way, which is why sometimes you'll find picture books that we've written for older children just to start that discussion. As one of our reviewers mentioned, storytelling helps to build vocabulary. Children cannot be expected to become great speakers and writers in later life without being exposed to new words and phrases. This is a book from our new Leap Into Chapters range which bridges the gap between picture books and novels for those newly independent readers who are ready for a little bit more of a challenge. And the books all, be all begin with a words to look out for page, which introduces some tricky words and defines them in a way that we hope you agree is not overwhelming. Supporting activities will also help children to practice these words, uh, such as the word search that you can see at the bottom there. We encourage anyone reading these books to say, was that book, was that word in the words to look out for page and use it almost like a glossary and get children practicing that sort of reference skill. Importantly, stories can carry a message underneath the plot, teaching children extra, extra skills. You know, you're not just learning about the subject. You're not just learning English. You're learning a message. This is a story called Knights and Dragons Unite. The children can enjoy the castles and the dragons and the humour and the characters but the underlying message is one of tolerance and teamwork. So through story, children are learning and developing without even realizing it. Let's say you're reading a book about the Romans and yes, you're learning lots of topic knowledge, but without reading a, a, a real story with another message underneath, you're not really taking advantage of that extra opportunity. Choose a storybook that helps to create the atmosphere that you want to create at specific times of day. That reviewer we heard from used audiobooks at the very end of the day, for example. If you're looking to settle children down, try 10 Little Lights, which has a gentle, cozy story and a wonderfully relaxing audiobook. I could probably go to sleep listening to it. It's so relaxing. You know your children best, so choose an activity that will create the end of day wind down that you're looking for. There's also a couple of supporting activities here, such as crafts and cutting skills, if you're looking for something a bit more busy. And it's entertaining. Just have fun if you like. Make bonding moments with your little learners and get them exciting, excited to read using role play masks, board games, craft activities. Again, you know your learners best, so use the huge array of resources. There's something to interest every type of learner. Use this time to build a love of reading that'll last a lifetime. And don't put too much pressure on it. If you just want to enjoy reading a book together, that's good enough, you know, it's, it's going to create that love of reading that will set them up to succeed later. Okay, that is enough waffle from me. Um, what I'm going to do is pass you over to Katie, who's going to talk to you about building a topic. Thanks, Hannah. Yeah, so in this section, we're going to look at how a Twinkle Originals longer story, so our books for seven to 11 year olds, um, can be used as a jumping off point for your topic and how easy it is to plan your learning experience around it. So that's really the whole point of why our product was made in the first place. We acknowledged how difficult it was for educators to create a whole topic around a book and having to create all of those additional resources yourself is a massive task. So that's something that we feel we can really support educators with. 
So we're going to be focusing on um, our history books. There are lots and lots of books in our collection, um, in our collection that, that cover history themes. So each is accompanied by a range of additional resources, which not only explores that historical theme in depth, but also can be used to, to weave into other areas of learning, which we'll take a look at in a moment. Um, so you can learn about the ancient Greeks, you can learn about the First and Second World War and significant historical events like the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. And that's all made accessible through our collection. And we also have the very popular History Hackers collection, which follows uh, a, a sibling duo of, of Charlie and Tilda Hacker on their adventures into the past. Um, and there are three of those in the collection currently. So they travel to ancient Rome, Viking Britain and Victorian York. Um, and we're going to be taking a closer look at History Hackers Roman Rescue. So this one is the first book in the trilogy. Um, and, and it's the, the first time that Charlie and Tilda discover the portal which can transport them back in time. Um, obviously, in this story, they find themselves in ancient Roman Britain. Uh, so as Hannah's already mentioned, there are loads of different ways that you can access this particular book, as with the, with all of our books um, on the on the in the library. Uh, so you can access it as an ebook and as a PDF um, for Apple Macs as a version. Uh, you can also access it through our app. Um, we have a dyslexia friendly version of this book as well, and it's also available as paperback in our store. So if this is one you're interested in, then go and check it out on the website or in any of those other places that, that Hannah has talked us through. So in this story, the hackers encounter Roman soldiers, um, an emperor, Roman baths, and they experience the everyday life of um, a person living in Roman York. So all of these themes can be explored further through the additional resources and the activities that accompany this particular book. So the adult guidance, um, we, we always create an adult guidance pack for every book that we do. And this is a really great place to start your planning for, for any of our stories. It'll tell you all about the events of each chapter and highlight any areas which you might need to approach sensitively. And um, it will also highlight some of the additional resources which you might find useful to slot into your learning journey. And the story itself is a perfect jumping off point for a Romans topic to support that learning about the Roman army, Roman entertainment, Roman food. Uh, there's absolutely loads on there. So here's just a, a selection of, of some of the resources that are available for this story. And there's some more here as well. Um, so it can be used to inspire learning um, around the subject as well. So, so for moving further away from history, you can also use our additional resources to link the book to areas such as maths and, and writing and English as well. Uh, so there's reading comprehensions, guided reading prompts, a number of SPAG resources as well, um, and opportunities for creating write, creative writing. We also have maths challenges as well, which which are featured there. Um, yeah, there's there's just absolutely loads. So you can really use this as the heart of your learning experience and then just leap into loads of different learning areas, all linked to that Romans theme, which will make it so immersive for your learner at home. Um, so now that you know how to access the full library, um, it would be great if you could take a look at the collection and choose a book to kickstart some of your own learning journeys. And we'd love to hear how you get on. So whether that's for a learner at home that's uh, in that seven to 11 bracket, maybe you want to look at Roman, Roman Rescue or any of the other um, books that I've discussed there for a history topic, or it might be that some of those books for our younger readers that Hannah's ran through earlier pique your interest and, and maybe you want to use that as the inspiration for your learning journey with originals as well. So thank you for taking the time to learn more about Twinkle Originals and um, we hope you found something to take away today and we'd love to hear how you get on as well. Um, we, we have popped a, a survey in the comments and it'd be great if you could find five minutes to fill that in for us. Um, as Hannah said earlier, we absolutely love getting customer feedback. We love hearing what will be useful for you, what topics are coming up for you that you'd like us to cover, um, the kinds of resources that you'd be interested in seeing as well. So any feedback that you've got whatsoever will be really great, greatly received. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. That was so useful. And actually, I'm a real Twinkle. We are a real Twinkle Originals uh, family users, as you guys know. Uh, we use it a lot in our home ed journey. Um, and I learned things like that you can have the dyslexic friendly format. I had no idea there were other formats that you could use. We tend to just use the app. 
Um, and so it's opened up lots for me in terms of, because uh, I have one of my learners is dyslexic. So actually that, that I've learned loads. So thank you so, so much. It's been really, really, really helpful. Um, if you guys have any other questions, then um, as Hannah and Katie have said, do pop them in the chat. They um, are going to be over in the chat and able to answer those questions uh, for you. Um, and I hope that this has inspired you to head out if you haven't used Twinkle Originals um, and, and use them because we find that they're really great for so many different uh, ways, exactly like uh, Hannah and Katie have talked about. We use them for kind of just evening bedtime stories, uh, but we are proper fans of the history hackers and we have used those to springboard um, into um, lots of areas of learning and actually you know as a home educator you don't you know all those amazing resources but also you know it brings up so many questions from my children about well what about this and well what about that and is that really accurate Did, you know was the author correct with that and then it springboards and you go and learn and we've done lots about how uh, people write historical fiction and make it accurate but make it exciting so there is just so much and my younger learner really loves those picture books and particularly all of the festival books and um, it really helps us to get a really wide uh, view of of the world and again the representation in those books have brought lots of uh, sensitive conversations for our family as well which i just think is amazing so more history hackers would be my feedback but thank you once see what again. we can do <laughs> thank you once again hannah and katie uh, for joining us and thank you to everybody watching um, and do, as I said, go and fill out that feedback because we would love to hear from you. So I think that's it from, uh, from us. Uh, any further questions, do ask them in the chat and we'll see you soon.